since I'll be stuck at the conference for two days, this is my exercise. Okay. Um, to, uh, next, uh, I'd like to invite up to the podium Dr. Santita Saxena. She's Executive Director of the Institute of South Asia for South Asia Studies here at Berkeley and also Director of the new Chodhri Center for Bangladesh Studies. Santita, please. Good morning, everyone. Distinguished guests, colleagues, and friends. It is my great pleasure on behalf of the Shubir and Malini Chaudhary Center for Bangladesh Studies to welcome all of you to this international conference, Development and Democracy in Bangladesh, Problems and Prospects. This is the second year we have partnered with the Bangladesh Development Initiative, BDI, and we are delighted to be hosting this important conference in Berkeley. And yes, if uh, you know Munir's uh, provocation of whether it should be at Berkeley, you know, permanently, yes, I would be very, very uh, supportive of that. As many of you know, um, or as many of you might know, Chancellor Nicholas Dirks of UC Berkeley and Sir Fazle Abid of BRAC together officially launched the Chaudhary Center in March of this year. This is the only research center of its kind in the United States that focuses solely on Bangladesh's politics, economics, society, and culture. This center certainly comes at an opportune time because as the title of this conference suggests and as Munir mentioned in his remarks, it is imperative that the research produced and the ideas generated focus on ways to combat the various challenges the country faces, but also offer opportunities to learn from the Bangladesh experience and envision prospects for change. Conferences such as this not only offer an exchange of ideas and engagement on critical issues, but it offers many opportunities for students and junior scholars to engage with the topics of vital importance to the country. This is really one of the main goals of the Chaudhary Center, and we are thrilled to be able to um, offer vital support to students every year through fellowships, scholarships, and internships. And this has allowed us in um, actually quite a short time to be able to build a strong group of young scholars focused on Bangladesh as a part of their study. Through organizations such as BDI and the Chaudhary Center, we are building the next generation of Bangladesh scholars. A student recently told me that she had never really thought of Bangladesh as a place where she could conduct research or spend a summer doing an internship. Once she learned about the opportunities we offer through the Chaudhary Center, she realized that studying Bangladesh and spending time there could really be a viable option and integral to our long-term plans. Slowly, students are re realizing that the country is ripe with research questions waiting to be answered. And through these opportunities, students and scholars are able to recognize that the study of Bangladesh's economy, society, and culture can, in fact, be a critical part of their education and future plans. We look forward to a continued partnership with BDI, one that promotes research and scholarship that will help, help Bangladesh reimagine its future. I wish all of you uh, two, well, I guess there's two days left of stimulating and thought-provoking conversation at the conference. Enjoy your time here, and I hope I'll have the opportunity to meet many of you. Thank you. <laughs>